All right, guys, welcome to another episode of How's It Made. Uh, this time we got a little treat for you. It's, it's a little deviation from what I normally do. Instead of having just one thing that I try to tell how good it's made, I have two things of the exact same type. Uh, one that's expensive and one that's cheap. Um, and they both go to in, in the same product. Uh, but they're made by different companies and one's made by the original manufacturer and one's made by an aftermarket and so we're gonna have a, a rare glimpse into um, uh, seeing firsthand what the diff difference between quality is all right well let's get right into it um, this costs 48 bucks this costs 21 bucks and there's the brand name, not that it really matters that much. Pretty much every aftermarket one of these is uh, is gonna be pretty similarly made, but this particular one is a Bonacell. I uh, got it on Amazon, two for 42, so 21 bucks a piece, 48 bucks a piece. All right, so right off the bat, let's just look, look and see what the difference in what it's claiming. So this is claiming 72 watt hours, and this is claiming 43 watt hours so all right and before we take anything apart let's just see what the difference is on the weight all right 344 grams for the bonacell 402 grams for the rigid that's uh, about a 17% difference. The rigid is is heavier by about 17%. All right, so on the outside, um, it's pretty apparent uh, which one is a more quality one. Uh, this one has nice orange peel texturing, um, variations in textures, a smooth uh, orange peel, um, an o rubber over molding, um, obviously warning stickers and um, serial numbers uh, this doesn't have any of that it's pretty much one finish for everything no rubber no texture no nothing you know what uh, what you see is what you get all right well uh, I think that's about all I'm gonna be able to tell from the outside so let's get into it All right, so the first thing we can see is the difference in the sizes of the screws. Rigid, knockoff. All right, so First difference I see is the rigid has a rubber, an elastomer, um, cushioning the battery cells, and the knockoff does not. Um, just the, the tooling quality looks better on the, the rigid as well. There's less scuff marks and grinding marks. Um, also, you'll notice there are no words on anything. There's no, there's no markings of any kind whereas the rigid let's see if uh, we can get that to focus properly the rigid has a number of markings on it um, so this is a, a date stamp to track the batch of this part being made that's something you know a good company would do but a, a crappy company wouldn't and also it says uh, TPS dash SEBS dash PC ABS FR 20 so what that is is that's the material that's an, another thing that high quality companies do is they actually um, log the material they used on the actual part itself because um, they don't really care if you rip them off they're they're rigid 
they're they're always going to be rigid um, and uh, a, a no-name brand isn't going to have the appeal that they do so they don't care if they tell you that information um, and TPS uh, SEBS is a, is a poly polystyrene elastomer so now we know what this rubber is that's on Now we know what this rubber is that's on every rigid product. It's a, a polystyrene um, butadiene copolymer called uh, called right there TPS SEBS. Uh, it's really common. It's not exactly that high end, um, but it doesn't really need to be. It's just meant to be a nice texture, a nice durable texture. So, and then the hard plastic is PC ABS FR40. And so that's polycarbonate. ABS blend and FR means it's flame retardant. It meets meets a flame retardant spec, which makes sense for batteries that can get really hot. You want plastics that can uh, take the heat. All right, so I'll set those parts aside and let's go. to those in a minute. All right. So again, it's got date batch tracking and this one doesn't. And this one also says it's the PC ABS. Which, so it's the same, same material, the hard plastic material as this piece, but this piece doesn't have any rubber over molding on it. So it just says PC ABS. Um, yeah, you can see the just better quality tooling, um, less grinding marks, same as same as the other other parts. All right, these parts. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there. Can I get it to focus on that? Let's see. Yeah, so if you can't see it, that says PA6GF30FR. So that's a polyamide, a nylon 6, 30% glass filled, and also flame retardant. This one, nothing. It's probably the same, same material that the other thing is. So if you're wondering, that's, that's nylon 6, which is not a common the most common nylon, the most common nylon is, is six, six. Um, and basically you'd use six instead of six, six when you care about surface finish, um, and colorability. Um, and so this is a, an exterior part, you know, it's going to be showing outside of the product. So they do care. They want it to be durable. They want it to be more durable than polycarbonate and ABS, which is, uh, about a medium strength material um, and I, I'm not sure why they would want this part to be stronger maybe because it's sticking out and so if you drop it this is a kind of a pointing out place that is less supported than the rest of it so that's why they might want to make it out of a stronger material um, but so and uh, and yeah so it meets a different uh, flame retardant specification, uh, 17 versus 40. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is, but uh, all right. So there's those parts. All right, now to the um, electrical assembly. Well, one more thing about these. Yeah, oh, see, these are all different different plastics. Um, yeah, even, even on this piece on the on the electrical assembly is PA66. Okay, so this is, they use the stronger, you know, cheaper 6.6 um, version of nylon uh, with 25% glass filled and, and flame retardant rating again, uh, because it's part on the inside. You see how the, the gloss looks kind of gray, whereas the 6, the nylon 6 is nice and nice and smooth. That's the difference. So they needed just a strong part, so they didn't, they didn't need to use the more expensive nylon six that has a nice finish and nice colorability because they weren't, nobody's going to see it. But see how we have, we have four, three different materials 
in plastic because well really four if you count the the elastomer four different plastics chosen specifically because of what the exact part needed to do whereas there's no doubt in my mind that every single one of these plastics are exactly the same whatever the factory had laying around um, probably from another cheapo part that they make and sell millions of they just said oh yeah use that material uh, shot you know reverse engineered in in China um, and so they just they didn't have any reason to to make it a good quality they're just making a knockoff so that's what you're what you're getting with the rigid um, so electrical assemblies so right uh, immediately, see how, how sturdy this is? These, these cells are tied together really well, whereas these are just kind of sitting there with bent wire and not, not held there very well at all. Whereas I could probably drop this all by itself and the thing would, everything would stay together. You know, maybe not from six feet, but you know, versus, yep, there you go. Um, circuit board quality is pretty obvious. This one looks like it's been ground to shape by hand, whereas this looks like an immaculate uh, precision designed circuit board, um, well thought out. Uh, the edges are cut by, by a CNC machine as opposed to, you know, whatever the heck happened there. Um, notice the, the the soldering quality difference, um, the markings, um, heat shielding, heat resistant, fire resistant uh, shielding on this wire versus nothing. That that plastic end piece looks like it's been hand cut or hand ground to fit the application and I don't I don't even know what's going on there with that contact that just looks it looks almost handmade but not in the good way like not in the American you know handcrafted this looks like put together just to get it out the door by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing so yeah very, these cells are very well constrained yeah, just like they had this rubber in here to hold the cells really tightly, they continued that theme on throughout with uh, with every part of this. All right, so to give us an idea if if this is actually a 72 watt hour and the rigid is actually so that's uh, that's what like 40 percent more. This one claims to be 40 percent have 40% more more watt hours in it, more overall power. Um, and that should be reflected in the weight. So we took out all the plastics. All that's left is the electrical assembly now. So let's see what these cells, what these cells weigh. So that's 268 for the Bona cell knockoff and 294 for the rigid. So that's um, over 10% heavier. I'm gonna hazard a guess that this battery is not 72 watt hours. That's uh, probably a little bit of an optimistic, uh, this is the, probably the kindest word I can use, optimistic uh, estimate. All right, well, so, if you're curious about what you pay, what you pay for, what you're paying for when you buy rigid products, again, forty-two dollars a piece. Versus twenty-one dollars a piece, and that's what you pay for. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want to get uh, up, updates for when I post a new video. I'm going to be doing one every week at least. Uh, leave me a comment on what you would like to see me review. Um, 
questions about something you're working on, uh, critiques of previous episodes, you know, you, you loved it, you hated it. Uh, let me know, whatever it is. All right, thanks guys. See you next time.